The Institute of Information Management is doing sin design thinking since 2005. Uh, Actually, per coincidence, because uh, my boss, Professor Brando, went to uh, Stanford and actually was heading for the business department. But uh, the guy which was accompanying him uh, was taking him to the mechanical engineering department. And he, as a real businessman, said, okay, we are totally wrong. I mean, I have to go to the business school, right? Said, no, 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 you're right. This is the mechanical engineering. You have to go in there. After five minutes, he was convinced, flew back to Switzerland and said, okay, we're going to do this. So this was a pretty short, um, I would say, uh, project ramp up time. And since then, we're doing design thinking. We are, of course, as a business school focusing on services, process, and business model innovation. This is our main task. And we are collaborating, like last year, for example, uh, with Reggio Emilia to get the engineering competence in our uh, process. The other thing is that I am specifically interested is how to embed the design thinking in the corporate world. So this is one thing that I'm doing research on. One of our um, main partner in this is the Deutsche Bank, which is uh, located in Frankfurt. And we are doing projects, design thinking projects within the bank since 2009 exactly then. I'm uh, coaching the teams there. And we are especially focusing on the hunt home, right? We have a pretty good structure in making innovation somehow happen or invention somehow happen. And then now we are focusing on how can we help the corporate environment to bring the whole idea home where the market is located and actually where the money comes from. So um, University of St. Gallen is the second largest education program for design thinking within this ME310. And uh, as I will outline just afterwards, we are one of the key initiators in the SUGAR initiative. We have a big amount of coaches and a big amount of consultants, of course, as a business university, but the coaches are about eight, and we have about 19 students right now running this year's course. There's an extreme high student-to-teacher ratio, which is one of the key factors that we are, and also Larry and uh, Matteo are really focusing on to have a excellent student to teacher ratio to get the thing really happen and to keep the whole creativity alive all the way through the process. Because as you have seen from Larry, there are a lot of different, I would say, killing influence factors which are not really providing or enabling uh, some big major innovation. As I said, uh, we have a classical university course in terms of classical. It's not a classical university course, but is, it's a course located at university which I will talk about this later on. And we have this embedded design thinking uh, initiative where we are really incorporating design thinking in the Deutsche Bank in this specific um, example. And of course, we're doing a lot of executive trainings. Um, we have seen different initiatives in, on how to train uh, top management level in terms of creativity. This is a still, a, I would say, a struggling job. Um, because of a lot of top managers um, are kind of uh, difficult to get trained on creativity until the whole process came through. So we have to find new ways of teaching them. And this is one of the examples where we failed at the moment, but we are uh, trying to get some success uh, during this year, of course. The Sugar Network itself is already pretty global. You have, of course, Reggio Emilia, you have St. Gallen, you have Paris, you have uh, Dublin, you have Potsdam, the whole Scandinavian community is there, you have China, you have Japan, you have Sydney, uh, you have Colombia, you have Brazil, you have Mexico, and of course you have Stanford. So it's something which is one of the key elements that we think of. If you want to approach global innovation, you have to be global as a network itself. And this whole network is really uh, supported itself by its global, by its global thought. This is something which is really important, especially for the network, of course, to have uh, business partners which are providing the challenges, which are exchanging their thoughts of what could be the next big thing in their environment. And um, the whole network is really, uh, I would say, depending of good corporate partners which are open and which are, which are having the mindset of design thinking or at least are uh, willing to learn it. And these are just a few names uh, that you can see on, on the slide, and um, that's also the corporate side is really global in its nature. Another important element of this SUGAR initiative are the teaching teams, and these are the ones which are really pushing the whole initiative further, which are exchanging and extensively about learnings that we have in terms of education, right? We have to educate the future leaders, the future um, 
uh, corporate partners and of course the future society and in this term the sugar uh, teaching team is meeting regularly we started this year in March in St. Gallen uh, we continued in summer in uh, at Stanford and uh, we had some teaching team meeting in uh, October this year again uh, in terms of the whole uh, sugar coming together at Stanford so there's something which is extremely important is that the sugar teaching team is strongly involved in the development of the of the network and of course uh, we are I would say working in terms of future challenges for educating design teams and people uh, in design thinking another important thing is that the teaching team is meeting regularly with corporate partners so we are taking into account a lot of needs that the corporate partner has because we're not I would say designing for uh, for nothing we are really designing um, this innovation community for corporate partners and for a better society and in this term we'd like to exchange pretty regularly with the corporate partners which they have their needs we have our needs and we come together and work on uh, the new development and the new challenges that are brought to us as a sugar network of course say hello to Matteo say hello to Larry um, we are really depending on the feedback from the corporate partners itself and we'd like to be at the intersection of academia and corporate partners for all the time of the sugar network um, continuation so this is something which is extremely important to keep this intersection alive and to e extensively talk together and work together this will be from my side i'd like to thank you for your uh, attention and i'm ready for questions if you, if you like to ask them.